Harold Silovs, La Bien, hello. Um, I can say you're surprised on the European Championships. Uh, I definitely am. I mean, I going into the competition, I, my goal was... Um, I told myself, you know, if I make a top eight, I'll be, I'll be happy. But I wasn't expecting to be top three before the 10K. And uh, so when I went into the uh, last race, it was a lot of responsibility, a lot of, uh, you know, it took a lot of, a lot of nerves. Uh, thus, I was a little bit too tense, I think, on the, on the 10K. But as this is my first 10K experience ever, and it's outdoors, and it's under difficult circumstances. I mean, the wind and uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect from myself either, you know. And but you're on your way to be a, a serious concurrent for the top. Uh, I believe so, and. Uh, you know, the beginning of the season was a little uh, rough. Uh, I had uh, an injury and then a uh, flu, and so I couldn't really, I couldn't really tell where exactly am I at the uh, at the moment, you know. And I'm just happy to see that whatever I did in the, in, the, in the summer, the preparation and the technical improvement, uh, that it's going the right direction. And uh, I kind of always knew that I could be a good all-rounder, but it had. To, I had to put in a lot of work, and uh, that's why I went to Kia Speed Skating Academy, just to have the, a very good advice from Jeremy, and uh, just to learn these little things, what makes uh, the difference, you know. You're an interesting skater. You were skating in Vancouver, uh, both disciplines, short track and long track. Now you're going for the long track. Is Sochi your goal? Um, after, after Vancouver, uh, I still kept skating last season. I, I did a few races on, on long track, and... Uh, and I always had that feeling that this is not my best, I can do better, you know, and, uh, but I knew that I can't train both full time and expect good results. You know, it, it has to be very, it has to be executed in a very special way uh, and very precisely, you know, and it just wasn't really possible to do that anymore. So uh, I made a, just a decision to just to uh, give it a shot, you know, just to become, do it full time and, uh, and with the full concentration. And uh, like I said, I was a little bit nervous at the beginning of the season and I, I had a good result so far in the short track. And it's also difficult to leave something you've been doing all your life. Uh, however, I, I enjoy both of these, uh, these incredible sports. And um, uh, this year I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think as a long track skater, I'm trying to learn uh, and train as a long track skater, so yeah, there's no going back this year. 